Welcome back! Today, we are using the Canon 100mm 2.8L macro lens on the Sony a7 III with the MC11 adapter. I usually put this on a monopod for macro photography to help give me better stabilization so I don't have to worry so much about camera shake. I like it because it's flexible so you can move the camera around and not have to hold the weight of the camera. So we're going to walk around this garden and see what macro photos we can get. So the first thing I see right away is this flower pot full of flowers. I have the monopod fully extended and I'm going to try to target the smaller flowers. Since the sun is so bright, I'm on the back side where it's shaded to photograph in better even light. Now let's go for the bigger flower and just focus right in the middle of the flower. Okay, I'm going to try to photograph this flower and I really like the background wall tan color for the background blur. So I'm going to try to line that up and see how that turns out. Here's a little bird statue. I like to photograph little statues with the macro lens. So basically, I'm just lining up the focus point to the eye of the statue. Here's something cool that I always look for. If you can see, these flowers have water droplets on them because it's so early in the morning. So it's always fun to take photos of something like this to give it extra character. This has a cool design on it. Let's see how the purple and green come out. This is pretty neat how they do the stones here to make a path. So I'm going to do a vertical shot and aim it down and see what I can get. I can't frame it well because I can't see due to the glare of the sun. So I'm just taking photos hoping one will turn out. So gardens are fun to visit because you can go multiple times and always find something new to photograph when using a macro lens because you're basically photographing small subjects. So because of that, you have plenty of things to explore and you don't have to spend a lot of money on traveling. That's one of the reasons why I like macro photography because I don't usually want to take the time and money to travel in order to take photos, but I can run down to the local garden and explore easily. So what I'm doing here is trying to find a type of spider that I see sometimes at this garden. They are as big and long as your finger. I think they are called banana spiders, but I'm not sure. They usually are in this area that I'm walking in, but I think they are seasonal because I saw them during the summer, but not now, which is winter here in Florida. So while I was walking, I saw this bush and the way the light is hitting these leaves and the little dots on these leaves, which looks pretty cool. This little plant looks like it's dying, but with the light behind it and the shallow depth of field of the lens, this has a cool abstract fairy tale look to it. Here's a dead rosebud that looks neat. So this is not the spider I was looking for, but it's something to photograph. Since it moves around a lot, I usually have my settings set to auto continuous focus. Here's a nice yellow flower. I'm just going to line it up with the rule of thirds and focus inside the flower. Also, don't forget to check the ground. This flower bush has a little bud with a leaf on the top that could look cool to line up. There's also a lot of bees around, so I'm going to try to photograph them. Mm -hmm. 
Here I saw this green moss on this log, and I really like how vibrant the green is. But also, when I started looking at it, I saw these tiny little sprouts on it. So let's see how the macro lens picks that up. Here's a bush with white flowers, and I like photographing the flowers that haven't fully bloomed yet, like this one. Over here I saw this one flower that just looks really good and unblemished by any insects. Since this fern is taller than me, it looks really cool with the sky as the background. It was a nice day at this Florida garden. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll notice that this video is much longer than normal. Let me know in the comments if you prefer these longer photo walk videos or if you prefer my other style of short 10 photo videos. Now right here are the top 10 photos from this round. I think I would pick number 4 for my favorite. So which photo do you like most? Vote by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.